We're now ready to create a new namespace in order to deploy our first Tanzu Kubernetes grid cluster. Uh, the namespace we just simply supply with a name and it is already running and active. We're good to go. Let's just double check that in our workload management. We do have our new namespace up and running. So the first step we're going to do is uh, create a content library so that we can synchronize an image that we can use for the nodes in our Tanzu Kubernetes cluster. I've already done uh, that, it's taken care of. So the other step then at this point is under the configure namespaces, make sure that that content library has been attached to your cluster. The images in that content library should now be available to our namespace. So let's just log in and make sure when we change the context to our namespace that we can indeed actually see that image that is in the content library. And so we can do that with a get virtual machine images command. And there we can see the images available. Great. So at this point, uh, we do have to do some additional configuration on our namespace. One of these is to add a default storage policy. Um, in this particular case, the storage policies that I'm using, or the storage policy that I'm using, is for vSAN. And we can see that that appears as a storage class within the namespace. And I'm using that storage class in my manifest file for the Tanzu Kubernetes cluster. So I'm just going to create it. You can see me apply it there. And so now we can go back to the UI and see what's actually happening in our namespace. So we can see the cluster has been created, the Tanzu Kubernetes grid guest cluster. And we can see that the control plane virtual machine has already been built out. It hasn't been powered on yet, but we'll speed things up a little bit and we can see some more nodes being created in our guest cluster now. At this point, the control plane is powered on and the workers, the two workers that we placed in a manifest file are now available as well. If we give it a few moments, they will power on and it looks like we now have our control plane node and our worker nodes all up and running in our namespace uh, in vSphere with Kubernetes. There's a lot of useful information we can get here now in the um, in the namespace section. You can see various things about the compute, it showed us the uh, cluster. We can look at the storage. Uh, we can see things like secrets, config maps, and so on and so forth. Other interesting thing in compute is, of course, to look at the virtual machines. And there are three virtual machines deployed there. So now if we just log out of our um, current uh, configuration and log back in with a specification that includes our Tanzu Kubernetes cluster and the namespace where that cluster resides, we can work in the context of that particular guest cluster. And so by logging in as so, you can see the command line is rather long, but it puts us directly into the context, context of the guest cluster. And from here, you can see that like so. But now the last step is just to look at the nodes to make sure we are in that context and we are indeed. And that's our single control plane and two workers. And that completes the demonstration.